Good evening and welcome to a Spotlight on Classical Music, hosted by Carroll County Public Library, Carroll County Arts Council, the Community Media Center, and Opus Community Music School. I'm Dorothy Stoltz with the Carroll County Public Library. Tonight we'll hear selections from Bach, Schubert, and Franck. This program is made possible with a grant from the Carroll County Arts Council and the Maryland State Arts Council. Before we introduce our musicians, we'd like to do a little bit of online housekeeping. If you have a question or a comment for the musicians, please type them into the chat box on Facebook. And just to let everyone know that the recording will be posted to the Carroll County Public Library's YouTube page. So you'll be able to find it there and share it with friends and family. And now I'd like to introduce the Executive Director for Opus Community Music School, Ella Wiswakarma. Ella is someone who has a tremendous musical background. She has professional degrees in conducting and music education and has served as guest conductor for orchestral ensembles and choirs in both Europe and America. She teaches music, dance, and drama to children and youth. In addition to teaching and conducting, uh, Ella has also performed as a singer in the Baltimore Symphony Choir. Ella asked the library, the Arts Council, and the Media Center to join Opus in bringing music that can be inspiring, healing, and joyful to people uh, during this pandemic. We are delighted to be part of this collaboration. So let's please welcome Ella Wiswakarma. Hi, I'm Ella Wiswakarma, Executive Director of Opus Community Music School. Opus is a Carroll County music school dedicated to affordably providing the highest quality music lessons to students of all ages. Like many nonprofit organizations, but particularly as a music school, the pandemic has significantly inhibited our ability to fulfill part of our core mission. We believe an integral part of music education is listening to high quality music which our faculty, most of whom are conservatory trained musicians, typically present through live concerts. Unfortunately, for more than half a year, this has not been happening. It also affects our ability to connect with the larger community through these same events. Therefore, it is with great pleasure and excitement that we are collaborating with several of our nonprofit friends the Carroll County Public Library, the Carroll County Arts Council, and the Community Media Center in this unprecedented and ambitious project. To learn more about Opus, become a student, lend your support or make a donation, or to get updated on our COVID response status as we are currently providing lessons online, visit our website at www opuscms.org. We miss partnering with all of our friends, like people from places of worship, retirement communities, and other organizations. We hope to see you again soon, but until then, please enjoy this concert. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Carroll County Arts Council, where we are performing here live. We are the Opus Community Music School faculty. I would like to introduce you to our artistic director, Dr. Mark Runkles. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We are going to present three pieces for you tonight. The first, I'm going to play uh, Johann Sebastian Bach's E Major Violin Partita. Second, our vocal instructor, Virginia Douglas, is going to sing to Franz Schubert Lieder with uh, Dr. Lisa Weiss on piano. And to close the program, our, one of our violin instructors, Bagus Wieswakarma, is going to play the Cesar Franck 
violin sonata in A major. Um, now Bach, uh, we, we think of him as a uh, primarily a keyboard virtuoso, uh, organ and harpsichord, uh, but he wrote this uh, violin partita for himself to play on violin. Now you might notice that I am not holding a violin. Uh, I am the uh, oboe and saxophone instructor here, so I'm going to play uh, the violin partita on the oboe. And to make it work on the oboe, I had to do a couple of things. Uh, the main thing being I had to figure out uh, where to breathe. Uh, second, uh, I'm going to be cutting some repeats um, so I don't fall over. Uh, third, um, I had to uh, figure out what to do about the uh, double and triple stops since I can't really play more than one note at a time on the oboe, unlike violin, which has multiple strings. Um, so I either have to cut those triple and double stops, or I have to somehow play them melodically. Um, and so Bach, uh, th this partita is a suite of six dance movements. It starts out with a prelude. Uh, then we have a lure. Then a uh, gavotte and rondeau, then a minuet, then a beret, and it closes with a uh, jig. So hope you enjoy. Thanks.
The next two pieces are written by Franz Schubert. In his short life, he wrote over 600 pieces of Lieder. He is said to be, to know. <laughs> so the first piece, Di Farella, is about a trout. He's very happy in his brook, but when a fisherman comes along, it muddies the waters a bit. In the second piece, in Frühling, or in the spring, it is about love and, love and life and how happy and joyous they can be, but at the same time, there's also loss involved. Thank you. 
So we have one last piece to play for you this evening, and it is Cesar Franck's Violin Sonata in A Major, played by Bagus Wieswakarma and Dr. Lisa Weiss. And Franck was born in modern-day Belgium, but he studied at the Paris Conservatory, and he later taught organ at the Paris Conservatory. He wrote this sonata in 1886, and it was as a wedding present for violinist Eugene Isai. The sonata is in four movements, Allegro ben moderato, Allegro, recitativo, fantasia, and Allegretto poco mosso. Thanks again for joining us this evening, and enjoy. Thank you. 